a brand new experience. 12 a.m., our journey to Ochamogo, Nicaragua begins. Anxiety and excitement are among us. My first step out of the Managua airport was blistering hot. 91 degrees Fahrenheit to be exact. Two hours to our final destination of Ochamogo were ahead of us. We were tired and ready to arrive. Upon arriving, we were greeted by Brenda's family and friends. After arriving, Brenda led us each to our new homes where we will be staying during our time here. The homes here are very unique to ours. We shower outside by pouring buckets of water over ourselves and use the toilet in a latrine. Everything here is new and exciting. We are here to serve, so let the journey begin. Sun up to sun down. Breakfast was served precisely at 7.15. Woken up by the sound of a rooster's call at 6.30, Kelsey and I were the first ones up. We were off the first day of work by 8. We walked about a mile and a half before we caught a ride in the back of a pickup truck. From 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., we loaded bricks onto trucks. The way the people of Nicaragua live is amazing to me. We are blessed with more than them, but yet they seem so content with their lives. It still hasn't quite hit me yet that I am in a different country, challenged with new experiences that I won't find elsewhere. Looking around, I'm in, co in constant awe and wonder. There are chickens, cows, horses, pigs, cats, and dogs everywhere. Today, we began building the latrines. Lee and I replaced it a very nice family's home to help them with the process. They couldn't have been any more friendly and hospitable. However, their home was not in the best shape. It was made of trash bags and trees, and their latrine is cardboard. Cardboard and old, torn bed sheets. How could this family want to give when they really couldn't afford to give much at all? Showering outside, using the bathroom outside, sleeping under mosquito net, this is their life. Awake by 5 a.m. to the sound of chickens on the roof. At least that's what I think I heard. The long hike to work each day gives me time to look around and reflect on the culture that I'm immersing myself into. After a few days gone by, I am becoming more comfortable about where I am and who I am with. I am constantly learning and loving every moment of this experience. The beach here is breathtaking. Everything here is breathtaking. The land is beautiful, the people are friendly, the food is delicious. I could have stayed much longer. While this trip has taught me many things, the biggest takeaway that I gained was the lifestyle that people of Nicaragua live every day. They appreciate what they are given and make the most out of each day. Thank you for the memories, Nicaragua.